The pandemic has upended nearly everyone's routine and it has some very serious implications for thousands of North Texas students. Dallas ISD says in its high schools alone this school year, 9,000 students are habitually absent. The district was at work today trying to track students down. Fox Force Davidson Tendry is in now with that story. David. Yeah, Blake Dallas ISD is seeing a record amount of habitually absent students ever since the pandemic began. They've tried reaching out to some of these families over the phone, but have not been getting responses from some of them. So today, a group of Dallas ISD staff members went door to door knocking in an effort to get some kids either back in school virtually or in person. Yes, okay, sir. here he is. Go ahead. Thank you. Hi, Jaden. Hi. <laughs> are you going to come out and join us? Dallas ISD leaders are going door to door, visiting absent students like 17 year old Jaden, a junior at Kimball High School in Oak Cliff, who says he's been learning remotely, but admits he's skipping classes. Out of the 10 classes, I usually attend about like five, five to six. Why is that? I'm not going to lie, like, when I'm done with school, I go to work. So like most of the time I felt unmotivated to go just to like kind of like log in and everything. Dallas ISD, like districts across the country, is seeing a record amount of absences. Now it's checking in on families they've been unable to reach by phone. Doing this is going to help us learn more about what's getting in the way. The district doesn't believe connectivity issues are to blame, saying it's delivered computer and Internet access to those needing it. We're serious about helping you. We're serious about getting you back in school, whether it's virtual, in person, evening academy, a reconnect center. We're serious about supporting you and helping you get across that stage. 9,000 Dallas ISD high school students are habitually absent this school year, nearly an additional 3,000 when you add middle and elementary schools. We have a lot of work to do. For the first time, those check-ins were in person Saturday when six groups visited dozens of addresses. Fox 4 tagged along. At some homes like this one, neighbors told us the family living there moved. Whoever was here isn't here anymore. No one answered the door at this home, but at this one. Thank you so much, ma'am. A parent says their child is now at another school. Still, the paperwork doesn't necessarily match the story. But technically, they're probably not enrolled because they would have requested records yeah. from us and we could verify their withdrawal. A difficult time for students like Jaden. Chaotic. I'm going to be honest, it's very chaotic. His father recently realized something has to change. So I had to enroll him back up to the school because of the fact that his grades was, was slipping. You know, he has, so he's going in person now? Yes, he's going in person now. In the meantime, the district hopes it can encourage more students to move forward. So we'll see some great grades out of you soon, right? <laughs> great. I'm working on getting them back up. So. Fabulous. Well, it's been hard to do it at home. Home is not set up as school, we understand. So we want you to know that we're here to help. Dallas ISD says it's not looking to reprimand students who have been missing class, rather just help them get back on track. They're going to be knocking on more doors each Saturday throughout this month.